some shredded chicken tenders and also yogurt, egg yolk, and barberries. What we need for the rice cake is six egg yolks, like two or three spoons of yogurt, a small amount of salt, amount of the saffron is up to you, but I put about five or six tablespoons of saffron. This is half cooked. I have already boiled the rice. It is easy, and what you do, if you don't know, if you go to my previous videos, you will see how I made the rice and exactly the same way. And some shredded chicken. This is chicken tenders, and they were already boiled with salt, black pepper, turmeric, onions, and garlic. Also, I need some barberries. This is some yogurt drink with some ghee for the top of the rice. We let the potatoes to get a little bit of color first. After that, we add the rice on the top. I'm going to cover the top of the rice so it can get rid of the excess moisture in the rice. And first, I'm gonna put it on very high heat. And as soon as the rice starts steaming, I'm gonna lower it down to low as possible. And as you see, I put a small piece of metal, and that is the top from one of these big uh, tomato cans. I just put it here, so no direct heat gonna hit the pot. And in about four or five minutes, when I saw the rice start steaming, I'm gonna lower the flames to lowest possible. Let's start with the chickens. I need a little bit of turmeric, salt, pepper, and garlic, of course, tomatoes and onions. Black pepper and turmeric. The rice has started steaming and I'm gonna lower the flame down to the lowest possible. Oh, 
Also I need some garlic, about three to four cloves of garlic gonna be plenty. I'm gonna remove some of these half chickens. The ones are already being fried nicely. As you see, they are fried, but they are not cooked. Also, I need some onions. I need a little bit of turmeric. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And one teaspoon of salt. I need zest of one lemon. And definitely juice of one lemon at the same time. And now the onions. And I'm gonna put the chicken right on top of the onions. Also, pinch of paprika and some chili flakes. I'm going to put the top on until they are cooked for about 20 minutes. And I'm lowering the heat all the way. Everybody loves to put tomato puree. So do I love to use tomato puree, but sometimes I dice the tomatoes the way I did. And by dicing the tomatoes, that will give a lot nicer and better flavor to your food. Now we're gonna wait for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And if we, again, I'm gonna come back to you, check the chicken, and also check the rice and see how they are. See you in about 20 minutes. It has been uh, over an hour and a half, the rice has been there. I checked it, it is cooked. The chicken is ready. Now we have to make some zereshk or barberis. Oil. One tablespoon sugar. And some barberis. Also some saffron. But please remember, you should not really saute your barberries for a long time because they're gonna burn. And as soon as you see your sugar has dissolved, that is the time we can say your barberries are ready. Done. You see, about 30 seconds. Let's check the chicken. Holy moly, yes, beautiful. Add some saffron. And check the rice. Oh yes, that is also done. Beautiful. How about some saffron on that? This is our finished product, Barberry's rice, with the rice cake, saffron, barberries, and yogurt. And of course, chicken. Roasted chicken or pan roasted chickens. I hope you liked watching this video. If you have any question, you're most certainly welcome to ask me in the comment box underneath the video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up right in the bottom of this video and subscribe to our channel. And I would appreciate it if you would kindly share my videos, the links with your friends and families. My next video will be Shirazi cabbage and rice with meatballs. And that's gonna be true Shirazi way because as you know, I'm a Shirazi. I come from Shiraz, I was born in Shiraz. And uh, that is also gonna be awesome video and definitely you're gonna love it thank you very much for watching see you next time